empty bag. A Swansea cinema ordered to close for breaking Covid rules flouted the ban to premiere a film by the son of conspiracy theorist David Icke. Cinema & Co's owner Anna Redfern was given a suspended prison sentence and fined £15,000 after admitting contempt of court. She says her company doesn't practice censorship and she found the film thought-provoking. Rhys Williams reports. I were here tonight as we come to support Anna, obviously she's keeping uh, Cinema & Co open. Uh, this video, filmed from inside Cinema & Co and broadcast live on Facebook, shows the venue as it prepares to screen the Ike family's film. Yeah, it's full of people from all walks of life and uh, yeah, it's really nice to see everyone smile, so yeah. it's great. Owner Anna Redfern is interviewed briefly as well as the director of the film, Jamie Ike, son of David. The cinema was ordered to close by a judge but refused. She was then handed a suspended prison sentence for contempt of court and narrowly avoided spending Christmas behind bars by promising the judge her stand was at an end. Between these two hearings, Redfern hosted the premiere of this film. In an interview, she was asked by another of Ike's sons, Gareth, why. It's uh, just uh, to, um, to disseminate uh, real information and uh, yes it would be a real pleasure to to host you this information in the film includes serious and baseless accusations that nhs doctors and nurses are murdering people to boost the numbers dying of covid i think this is a fairly typical piece of conspiracy theory propaganda about covid in that it took real moving stories about people who've loved what lost loved ones during the pandemic, but then tried to turn it to the purpose of conspiracy theories by claiming that they have been deliberately uh, killed um, in order to push up uh, the numbers of people dying with COVID. And um, so I think that was what was particularly pernicious and, and dangerous about it. An expert on the Ike family, Mr Hood, believes this Swansea case is part of a UK-wide pattern. Anti-vaxxers, conspiracy theorists, far-right extremists even, are using opposition to lockdowns, which are causing a lot of pain for people. There's no doubt about that. Nobody wants to be in lockdowns, particularly damaging for businesses. But they use that as a pretext to sell people on their more extreme ideologies. That This is a microcosm of that. You know, we've got someone who's begun by sort of putting themselves in a position to protest um, restrictions on businesses, and they've ended up joining with conspiracy theorists like the Ike brothers. In response, Anna Redfern told us that any concerns regarding the content of the documentary premiered here should be discussed with the production company. However, she went on to say that caring for her mother at the end of her life meant that she found the film very thought-provoking. After we first reported the story, the director of the film, Jamie Icke, contacted BBC Wales defending its content. The owner, Anna Redfern, has received more than £61,000 in donations since she first received a closure notice. The 45-year-old told us she intends to use the funds to take her family on holiday, as well as educate and empower others to claim their universally declared human rights back and provide free film screenings for all schools living in poverty. Bruce Williams with that report.